hello. I got two new clubs to try today. This is for if I want to cut the ball. You know when you get under the trees and there's always an overhead branch in the way? Well, no problem. So then, what am I actually really doing? Well, a friend of mine called the Weekend Hack. He's got a great pair of spy glasses with a camera in. And he went to this giant American golf store. You know, the sort of place that we wish we had because we could then spend the five hours our wives are spending choosing a handbag, actually looking at golf clubs. So he was testing putters with the spy cam. And I happened to remark in his column, hey, I could putt with a piece of driftwood. Of course, if you're gonna open your big fat mouth and insert both feet. You better be able to back it up, boy. Well, I'm not going to drive to the seaside and search for a piece of driftwood, but our greenkeepers have cut down a couple of cherry trees, a couple of hawthorn trees, lugged them across the golf course onto the burning pile. Fortunately, they haven't burnt it. So I'm after some wood to make a putt ahead. And I am after some wood to make golf shafts. And I, with no skill whatsoever, I think as a woodworker I'm about a 36 handicap, no skill, no specialist tools, I'm gonna to make my own putter. Now if you go on YouTube, well you're on YouTube now, and you search for how to make a wooden putter, you'll find some amazing craftsmen making beautiful wooden putters. Well, I'm going to make Franken putter. This thing's going to be ugly. Right then, this is my source material. There's plenty of thin stuff here to make a shaft out of. There's a nice log there with great grain. This is going to get filthy, isn't it? Or rather, I'm going to get filthy. So, how about that? If I can get two feet of that, then that allows for cock-up. And there is going to be cock-up. Let's have another scoot around, see what we can see. Right, that didn't take too long. So I've got four pieces of timber for a possible golf shaft. Three of the same tree. This one's different. I think this I think this, uh, this one might be a birch. I got myself a log. Uh, there's some grain in it, so if I chop that up and make a club head, that might look pretty. And I got plenty of it to allow for the inevitable balls up. Right. I think the car's about a thousand yards away. How am I going to lump this without getting filthy? Oh well. Hello again. Here we go. Putter video number two. Now the log I got from the golf course had a monster split in it. So I managed to get myself a piece of silver birch. I'm going to take two one inch slices out of there. Don't go tripping over and then two one-inch slices out of there. That hopefully will be my putter head. Got the old uh, sawdust maker screwed down to the bench. Time to get cracking. Don't you? So that's that painful job done. And I say, it's a sawdust machine. 
if we want sawdust by one of these. So we've made ourselves some coasters. I've got two chunks out. This one is a bit, um, well, it's a bit chunky. This one's a bit slimmer. And it's even a little bit squarer, so it feels damp. So I'm gonna take the stuff indoors and uh, let it dry out for a week before I do anything else with it. Plywood for sale. So the next step is a golf shaft. And I've got one. Let's put, now this end is actually a good diameter for my hand, so I'm not going to do anything with that. I'll tidy up some of these knots. <laughs> And uh, once I've shortened this and got rid of a, another couple of inches off here, then I'll strip the bark back, and then that will become drill a hole in this at the right angle, and then the shaft will will go through that hole. Put that down. Oops, crikey. Now I figure with this, what I'm gonna to have to do, if this is the underside, is I'm gonna to have to chamfer the back of it and chamfer the heel of it. And then I need to go across here, or perhaps that way up, go across there and cut a putter face. I'm not bothered whether I get it vertical or whether I get it the correct four degrees. Now if I was to attempt to do that, in here with this saw I would have to find some way of clamping this to this bed and I don't have anything so I'm gonna have to do this manually with a uh, with a hand saw oh my god work oh, sawdust for sale so let's leave this to dry for a week and then I'll crack on with the next bit right then Here's my putter. I'm not sure which way round I'm going to put it yet. I've got to drill a hole for a shaft back here somewhere. I've got to have plenty of meat round it in case I don't want any splits. There's the face, which obviously needs sanding and finishing. On the underside, it's you know, but it's completely flat, so it needs to be chamfered to allow a putting stroke. There's a nice bit of bark, and if it all goes wrong, it's going in that beastie. Hopefully, I won't make balls of it. Good morning, Sunday morning. Should be out playing, but it's for the rain on that roof. Right, my putter, I've weighed it, it's about two ounces light. So I need to get some weight into the putter. You probably can't hear me with it. 
and lovely rain. So, got a three ounce fishing weight, wrong shape of course, so I need to flatten it, and I've got a lump hammer. I don't have any tools, so my anvil will be the floor. And then once I flatten this, I'm going to trim it, trim the putter head, glue and fix it into the putter head, and then get the shaft in and eventually create the putter. So while I'm going to do some walloping, I'll just say bye for now. Well, we're out of the rain. Welcome to the man cave. Might as well show you around, and I really. Let's start with the Jack Nicholas fiver temperature 15 degrees it's even cold in here pile of CDs that's work that's pleasure or editing pile of hot hands so we've uh, managed to flatten our fishing weight I've trimmed it a bit. Once I've stuck the shaft in and trimmed the shaft, then I'm just going to screw this to the bottom, glue and screw it to the bottom. What the hell? There's my putter head. Now it's been indoors a couple of weeks. It has um, got a little split in it, but who cares? So I'm going to finish putting this thing together and uh, then I'm going to varnish it and then we're going to try it and yeah there's, there's no point putting this thing together and not using it so I'm going to use it so while I'm at work quiet please right then so got a chunk of lead glued, glued and screwed the uh, shaft is in just needs to be varnished now. The question is, is it capable, oh, there's my putter just fallen on the floor, is it capable of propelling a golf ball? And I think the answer to that is yes. So, I've cut some of the knots off. I'm gonna varnish all of this in the very near future. And then next Saturday, Oh, yes, we are. We're going to go and play. <sighs> Gotta be crazy. Surely, hang on, let's zoom in. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Let's have another putt. Let's have another putt. One handed putt, obviously. I'm holding the damn phone. I don't know if this thing's got a sweet spot. Well, it works, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, look at the state of this. 